Shalom, shalom, everyone. So this class is on the Zer Shimshon, Parshat Sav, um, and it's as explained by Nachman Salser. Um, this class is dedicated for the neshama of the Zer Shimshon, Rabbi Shimshon Chaim Nachmani, Ben Rabbi Nachman Michal Nachmani, for the neshama of Zaman Bat Chaim, and Aharon Ben Moshe. Um, it's also for the uh, entire nation of Israel and for all those who need a Rafo Shalema. So in the Parsha, there's a verse that states, this is the offering of Aaron and his sons, which each shall offer to Hashem on the day he is inaugurated. Comes the Midrash of the Yalka Shimoni 486, which quotes Rav Idi, who says that King David had a desire to bring the sacrifices that were brought by the leaders of the nation. So the nation of Israel, we know back in the day, they would offer many sacrifices to God. So why was King David specifically interested in the sacrifices brought by the leaders? Um, The Zerashim Shon Shon, uh, brings down the Talmud of Sotah 9a, which tells us that Moses and King David were so great that no one was able to destroy what they made. Again, the Gemara says that Moses and King David were so great that no one was able to destroy what they made. So this means that if King David had built the first temple it would never have been destroyed and it would have been the first and final temple. So King David essentially was hoping to be the one who would build the temple, which would ensure that it would never be destroyed. And he was hoping to be the one chosen to offer the Korban of the Nasi at the inauguration ceremony. Since David was both king and uh, Nasi, this was his dream and passion, knowing as he did that any temple that he built would last for all eternity. Now, Hashem, however, had other plans, and David was not chosen to offer the korban, nor to actually build the Beit HaMikdash. And in the end, as we all know, it was destroyed. And that was uh, Parsha Tzav, um, the commentary provided by the Zerashim Shon. Um, until next week.